How are you? Good evening, everyone. Um, talk to you today about um, using Android device for photography um, without any expandable um, storage. This video came about uh, a friend of mine questioned on Facebook about um, Android tablets. He wanted to um, he, asked, he asked people's opinion um, I gave my opinion and, and my opinion was that he should um, get the Nexus 7 tablet in preference to the Samsung Tab 2 um, and his concern was with the lack of um, local, uh, well, yeah, local storage and the lack of expandable storage more than anything uh, because he, he's into photography and felt as though we needed the expandable storage. So, I thought what better way of really showing um, how expandable storage is really an overrated kind of spec, if you like. It's there's a need for it in some in some ways, in some places, under some circumstances. But um, with the right equipment in the first instance, it's not something you need. Um, you know, I think if you're if you've got a device with um, a small amount of memory, 8 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes, certainly will need expandable storage of 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes, questionable. It really does depend on what you're using the device for. Um, if there's any large video files on there, then you're going to want more storage. But again, you know, it's whether or not you can find a cloud solution that which would suit your needs. But that aside, so 16 gigabytes. Is your kind of if you like, do I or don't I? It really does depend on the user and what they're using it for. Um, for photography, I would say no, uh, but again, as long as you haven't got huge video files stored on the device, which can soon eat up all your memory. This Nexus 7 here is a 32 gigabyte 3G model. I believe that absolutely. There is no reason at all to have expandable storage on our device with 32 gigabytes and upwards. Um, I'm not saying there's no user out there that wouldn't um, benefit from expandable storage. It really does depend on how you use the device, but if you used properly with cloud services, because uh, that's how Android is designed to be used with cloud services, then there's little need to have expandable um storage so here's how i think you can get around it with with it with, with photography use um the only specific app i've got installed on this phone on this tablet i should say which makes all of this happen is in a seamless way, in an invisible way, is I've installed an app called iFi and I use um, a iFi memory card in my DSLR camera. What that enables, well, what that does is any photographs taken my camera get transferred to my tablet, which then using the software, it then transfers it up to my my chosen cloud storage provider, which is Picasa. Um, I choose Picasa because like Android, it's a Google product and it integrates with the gallery app seamlessly and so i can demonstrate in that uh, the iFi thing is another subject altogether um, I, I can talk about that in the video if you like but for now i'm going to demonstrate the the picasso albums and how they're seamlessly integrated into android so let's get the gallery app open um, go back a few steps here we are in the main user albums, all of them. The first few uh, are all locally stored images. Um, some of them are just you know, mostly bits and pieces I've downloaded off the web. Um, Androidify images I've created, some videos, um, some movies, uh, Toy Story, and Mike the Knight for the, for the little one. Um, and then we've got our last locally stored images of this folder here um, and they are my edited online photos so this is an image that I have edited with the built-in editing features of Android 
that I pulled from Picasso. So here is Picasso album. If I can show you close up in this one here, you can see a little white folder icon, possibly a little bit of focus. In this one here, instant upload, it's Picasso album. See the little round one, and it's actually the Picasso logo. Um, oh, you can't see that very well. I apologize for that. But as you see, I'm going to try and make this right. Okay, you saw then the black, and that was it catching up the images, downloading, and refreshing. I had to move those kind of albums very, very fast then to cause that to happen. Um, and the normal use, just skimming through images, you're not going to see any delay in the images appearing. What I'm going to do is open up this album here. I'm going to pick one of the photos. It's opened up instantly. I'm going to edit it using Snapseed. What I'm going to do before I let that carry on, I go back a step and show you that actually here we are back in the same step again. And I'll just show you. Go back. Um, go back here. Open up that image. I can actually share with. Uh, Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter from here and any number of apps Instagram if I had it installed whatever you know I want to do I can show you there but I'm going to show you editing with Snapseed straight to Snapseed there it's going to open up we're going to open up vintage effects we're going to quickly apply an effect I'm going to say apply it's going to process it I'm going to save it. It's now saved to the device. Now, so I've got to save all the original. It's going to create another copy. I'm going to come out of there. I'm not going to talk about Snapseed and the feature of Snapseed. That's something else. Again, um, I like and do if you'd like, or um, you can have a look around YouTube and find the features of Snapseed. Uh, I just wanted to show the integration of Picasso web albums with the built in Android gallery app. Um, and how you can seamlessly use those images. It hasn't overwritten the original image, it's created a new image within here. Here's the edited image. I can now share that again. I can share it here. I can share it from Snapseed. You know, it, there's no real the integration with Picasso is completely transparent. You cannot, the only thing that gives it away is. When dealing with web cloud-based images, you okay, depending on your network speed, you can see a bit of delay in opening them, downloading them, ready for editing. Um, but other than that, the, 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 the steps which you take to open, edit, view those images, whatever, are no different to as though you opened up an image locally on the machine other than as you can see it's a little snap here with locally stored images so that's that really um that's my view on um you know expendable storage um i don't think it's needed providing you've got enough local storage um i would always go for the more local storage than expendable storage the next of seven if you can afford the extra what 40 pound or so go for the 32 gigabyte model um if you're a photographer invest in an iFi card um it's not absolutely necessary you can always get home upload them to Picasso for your computer or whatever and they're available on your tablet immediately as soon as they've uploaded they're immediately available on your tablet like I say this, this it's a completely transparent um service operation it's complete integration you haven't got to to do any kind of messing it, it's just there so hope you find it helpful um i hope it you know dispelled any worries you've got about using um, a device with expandable storage uh, in particular as this video is aimed at photographers you know if you're a photographer so um thanks for listening hope it's been helpful I'll speak to you again soon bye now.